What is up guys? In the previous video we talked about pointers and in this video we are going to cover another concept called references because pointers and references are similar yet there are differences between them and we are going to use both when it comes to C++ and Unreal Engine so we need to know the difference. And by the way I've commented everything what we did in the previous video and this comment you see backslash asterisk asterisk backslash I didn't mention this comment. The comment that I mentioned was this bad boy over here, just two backslashes. So here, if we want to comment one line of code, we would use two backslashes. If, however, you want to comment a larger block of code, you can use backslash asterisk like this and close the line with asterisk backslash wherever you want or in between everything that is in between will be commented out okay so moving forward what do we have well let's talk about pointers i mean what else this video is about so let's say here i have an int a which is going to be equal to five same as what we did with our pointers over there how can we create a reference to this int a well we can create a reference by typing int and then an and sign this is how we denote it is a reference and here i'm going to call it ref to a like this and simply we are going to say a so it is equal to a now the difference between here as you can see so here we declare the pointer when we declare the pointer we use the and sign because a pointer again is pointing to the memory so he is pointing to the memory address but a reference is referencing the variable directly so it is pointing to the variable itself if we go over here, so if we go over here and if I do something like C out and if I say here, come on, if I'm capable of writing, so I'm going to say here the value of A is colon and here I'm going to say A like this and the line and here I'm going to say C out and I'm going to say the value, not value, the value of of ref to a is colon like here and i'm going to say ref to a and end the line so if i go and run this and if i hit the play to run or well to run my app you will see here the value of a is five and the value of reference to a is also five no difference there and if we go when i say no difference i mean between the pointer and the and the reference and if i go here and if i say c out and line to simply give a little bit of space between them and i do something like this and if i say the memory address of and here also the memory address so the memory so mem memory i have issues spelling and in order to get the memory of both we also need to use the and sign in front of them so if i go back now again we will see no difference pay attention here so the value of a is equal to five and also here and the memories are the same so what is the difference between pointers and references because so far what we see they do the exact same thing well first of all uh reference cannot be null we cannot do something like this we cannot say int reference and i just simply say ref and colon this is a big no-no you see they cannot exist without another variable so references need to point on another variable references don't take up memory when you create a reference as we did over here this is not another variable these are not two variables int a and this also here another variable taking up two memory places no this is only a single variable so this is a variable a and this is a reference to a and as you can see here we cannot do this whereas with our pointers we can say something like pointer like this and i can say ptr ptr like a pointer just so that so that i can denote this is an empty pointer and later on we can assign this pointer to something or we can assign a memory address to the pointer also a pointer can be changed to point to another address but a reference cannot be changed now we didn't talk about this and if i do something like this so if i go over here i'm going to remove this and let's pretend so here i'm just going to comment this out let's say we have here an integer pointer so integer pointer i'm going to call him pointer to pointer to underscore a and that's going to be equal to like this and if i go over here and if i say c out and if I print the value of A is like this and I print A over here and I'm going to end the line and below I am going to, I 
forgot here, these two less than signs. And below here, I'm going to print the value of pointer to A. So the value of pointer to A and here we are going to call our pointer to A and then in between we are going to have an end line. So C out and L. If we print this, it's obvious. So nothing will be changed, but I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to copy and paste it over here. And let's pretend that we have here, well not pretend, but I'm going to create it. We have here int B and I say 23. And after I print this, pay attention, after I print this over here, I am going to say PTR to A, so PTR to, PTR to A, finally, it's equal to now a pointer to B. So here on line 50, pay attention, I change the pointer to A to B now, pointer to B. So now he's pointing to the memory address of B. And if I go back here and if I say yes to run this, notice what we are going to see in the console. Pay attention here. The value of A is 5 and the value of pointer to A is also 5. But now since we changed over here, so now we changed pointer to A, so now he's pointing to B, the value of A is 5 but the value of pointer to A is now 23 because we changed that pointer. He's no longer, he's no longer pointing to the memory address of A. So now he started to point to the memory address of B. But if I do something like this, so if I say here, so there's going to be now a reference to A, so ref to A, and like this, I'm going to do here, and here I'm simply going to remove this. So here we are going to print this, and here is going to be the value, like this, I'm going to remove this just quickly. So here we are printing the value of A is A, and here we are printing the value of reference to A is this right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to print, but now, okay, just a moment here. If I run this, we are going to see everything is normal. So the value of A is five, reference to A is five. We print that here as well, everything is cool. But notice here, now I have B. If I say ref to A now is equal to B, Pay attention, ref to A now is equal to B. And if I run this, you will see now, pay attention, the values. Value of A is 5 and now value of reference to A is 5. But pay attention here, value of A is 23 and value of pointer to A, or actually, excuse me, a reference to A. So here, did I call it reference? It needs to be reference to A. So just like this, so we don't get confused. So now, where is my, okay, it, it run it two times. So let's go over here and run it only once. Save it, run it only once so that we can actually see it. I don't wanna debug it like this. So now we have the value of A is five, value of reference to A is five, but pay attention over here what's happening. We change the reference to point now, so let me just close this. Now reference to A is pointing to B, automatically that also changed the value of A because this is a reference to A. Think of it like he's referencing the, he is referencing the, the variable, not the value. The pointer is referencing, referencing the memory address and the value that is at that memory address. But a, a reference is pointing or referencing the variable itself. So if we change the reference, the variable will be changed as well. But for the pointer, if we change the pointer to point to another value or another memory address, that will not change the original memory address. So this is the main difference between them. And also pointers or actually references, they cannot exist on its own as we already saw. So we cannot do this, for example, I don't know, let's say here ref. So we cannot declare an integer reference called ref without pointing to anything. Pointers cannot exist with other variables, so they need to point to a variable. They need to have a reference to another variable. Whereas pointers, they can exist without the value. So we can declare a void pointer or even an integer here. I can say, I don't know, ref like this or PTR because this is a pointer. So this is valid as, as well because pointers are not dependent on variables so that they need to point or reference 
to a variable. So this is the main difference between them, but essentially they allow us to do the exact same thing. And that is access a value of a variable. So when we use a pointer, we can access the memory address and the value that is located at that memory address. But if we use a pointer, or actually a reference, excuse me, we can reference that same variable, which will give us back its value. But be careful when you are changing pointers and references, as you just saw, if we change a reference to point to something else, as we did over here, the original value or the original reference variable will also change as, as well, as we see here, the value of A original so original reference variable you see is and again if I go back here we will see that being printed here in the console and again I'm just I'm debugging this so let me just go over here and see what am I doing so I need to actually first close it so the value of a is 5 in reference to a is 5 but now that we changed we are going to say the value of original reference variable is 23 but again you see over here we didn't change a anywhere we simply set the reference to a is now equal to b so again this was the main difference between variables or actually pointers and references and how we can use one and another to access a memory address when it comes to pointers and how to access the variable or the reference to the variable itself when it comes to references. Fahir here and I will see you guys in the next video.